welcome to part three of our journey. I'm um, so just trying to film this outside with the horses, but it is now so wet. I have taken solace in the car and I am just hiding from all the rain that you might be able to hear. So just a quick update because I wanted to come on and do one for you this week. So this week has been brilliant. This week has been breakthrough week. So this is the week that I love seeing when I work with my clients and seeing them transform. Because there is usually one block that people have when it comes to their riding. And that block is the thing that really holds them back, that holds all of the other smaller blocks, all of the other smaller fears together. So there's usually one main one that underpins everything. So this is the root of it all. And once you manage to crack that, all the other ones suddenly don't seem that bad. So we had that week this week with my daughter. So she rode um, beginning of the week and all right she was fine nothing amazing but she rode and she did a little bit and that was fine I'm um, still only riding for a short period of time which is mega frustrated as a parent but it's been all right the pony really needs to burn off a few calories so I've been doing a really good lunging session and then she's ridden for a little bit at the end so it's worked out quite well um, but we had a bit of a breakthrough on day two and we've been doing lots of the stories and vision tasks that I usually do with children when I work with them. And we've been doing a lot of positivity and looking at what would make a really good riding day, what would make a really good experience, all of those sorts of things that I do with my clients. And we'd worked out what she needed. So I knew the basis of what she needed, um, even though she was a little bit hesitant to move forward into that. So the second day when she rode I suggested some extra activities for her to try and um, which she was a little bit hesitant but she did on the basis that if she did it then we were definitely going to go inside she could do a bit of grooming she was a few bits she wanted to do with the ponies afterwards so I said she could definitely do that even if it made us a little bit late if she just stuck with me and worked through these things because she wasn't terrified of doing them they were just a little bit out of her comfort zone um, and once she did them she then got this little boost of confidence and then she wanted to do something slightly braver um, and she asked if she then could do some, choose to do something. So she chose to do something which was a little bit braver um, and because she'd suggested it she felt like she had to follow through. She followed through on that and actually that broke that block that she'd had which meant then the next day when we went out she was like no I know I can do this now I know I'm still a bit scared I know I'm still a little bit worried about it but I know I can do this so she did everything she'd done the day before and a little bit more and she would managed to push herself that step further which has been a really positive thing because now she's already saying actually I've done all the things on this particular storyboard that we were looking at getting her to um, so can I move on to her next one her next one's quite a big jump her next one is actually like the things that we were doing pre-lockdown um, it was like a full day of pony activities and different things that we were doing and there's, there was like this whole routine that we created on these really nice days that we were spending up here and so she wants to do that next and that's a major step forward for her and um, so it's just about finding that big barrier that big block what the root cause is that's holding all these other things together because although now she's still got some of the fear some of the worry some of the anxiety it's all broken down so much smaller and therefore now it's manageable now she can use different tools techniques to manage that while we start to alleviate all those bits because she's broken the main barrier there so when you're working with your own fear, when you're working with your children's fear, um, the main thing is finding that main block. So that main block that's underpinning everything else. Because if you can start to break that down, it then makes all the other little bits that have been offshoots of that so much easier to deal with. And that's what we're going to be doing over the next few weeks. So because now we've managed to break that big barrier, she's back on. She is trotting on and off the lead rein. She is walking around the big field, which... It was a huge step for her not being in our little arena um, and she's trotting in the big field as well which is another really big step so I'm probably going to leave it a couple of weeks before I do our next update because we're going to be working on breaking down all the tiny little bits now and seeing if we can get her back to where she was pre-lockdown so my next vlog will be about something totally different so if there is something that you want me to talk about with regards to rider confidence overcoming fear anxiety all of those things whether it's for adults or for children please drop me a message and I will try and cover that in my next one so until next time catch up with you soon take care stay safe and let's hope in the sun returns so we can get back on these ponies